This figure shows the path of three objects, A, B, and C, starting from the same height above ground. A is released from rest, while B and C are launched horizontally from the same location. Ignore air resistance. Rank from high to low the three objects according to 1. Their time of flight and 2. Their landing speed. For projectile motion, we have to look at the horizontal and vertical separately. In the vertical direction, all three start with zero initial velocity. A starts from rest. While B and C are launched horizontally, which means that their initial velocities are completely horizontal with no vertical components. All three have the same vertical acceleration, the acceleration due to gravity, and all three have the same vertical displacement. Since they go through constant acceleration motion in the vertical direction, when we know three things, we can find the fourth and the fifth one. Because all three of these are the same for A, B, and C, they must all have the same time and the same final vertical velocity, which means that they all have exactly the same vertical motion. If you look this way, you would only see their vertical motion. You would see all three objects start from rest and fall at exactly the same rate and land at the same time. So for the time of flight, they are all equal. Now let's compare the landing speed. A, B, C, they all have the same vertical landing velocity. However, they have different horizontal motion. On the horizontal side, the only equation we need is delta x equals to v times t. For the same time of flight, the larger the delta x, the larger the horizontal velocity. C has the largest delta x, therefore the largest horizontal velocity. B has some horizontal velocity, while A has zero delta x and therefore zero horizontal velocity. Since it's constant velocity motion in the horizontal direction, these horizontal velocities do not change. Speed is the magnitude of the total velocity, and these are the total landing velocities for A, B, and C. So C has the largest landing speed, and then B, and then A. Or we can use Pythagorean theorem to find speed. Speed is the diagonal over here, so it is the square root of A squared plus B squared. They all have the same Vy, so the higher the Vx, the higher the landing speed. So of course we get the same answer, CBA. Now what if I tell you that the three objects have different mass? If, for example, A is 0.1, B is 0.2, and C is 0.3 kilograms, how will your answers change? The answers will not change because they will all still have the same zero initial velocity in the vertical direction. They will all go down the same height, and they will all have the same gravitational acceleration. This means that nothing changes if they have different mass. We will learn in the forces unit that the gravitational force on an object is mg. For all three falling objects, mg is the net force, which equals to ma and the mass m's cancel. That's why falling objects or projectiles with different mass would still have the same vertical acceleration if we ignore air resistance.